industry. And as you saw in the title, we're going to make breakfast wontons. And how fun and easy is this going to be? We've got just sim simple wonton wrappers. I've got some leftover grilled steak, and I cut it up in really tiny pieces, grated up some sharp cheddar cheese, and I scrambled up some eggs. And these eggs are scrambled to a tender state. They're not really extra firm because we're gonna complete some cooking here. And you can do all that the night before like I did. And I've also got an egg wash here. So these little square wonton wrappers are perfect for this. And we're gonna go ahead, put a little bit of egg down. And what a fun way to serve breakfast, especially if you've got little ones around the house because they can be finicky. But if you put it in a cute little package, they usually will eat it. And then a little bit of cheese. And I'm not seasoning this spicy because we're gonna serve this alongside a fresh pico de gallo, so I don't want it spicy just because of the little one factor, just in case you're doing this for kids. This is gonna be for my husband and I. And so I just brush that with the egg wash, bring your sides together, try to get as much of the air out as you can, and press it down. And we're gonna make, sometimes you'll get a little bit of a hole because the meat is a little harder, but no worries. So pinch those sides together and there you go. If you wanna fold them over again, you can. That's totally up to you. It doesn't matter really what shape they come out. And I'll do one more, a little bit of egg. And what a fun way. Now, the other thing that I like about this is if you bring these wonton wrappers when you're camping, this is a great camping breakfast too. And it's fun because everybody can get involved. You just do a little assembly line and you're good to go. And again, egg wash the sides. And there you go. Bring the corners together. I'm gonna finish making these and we're gonna fry these off in some peanut oil over on the stove. So I'll bring you over there so you can see that. So my wontons are in the pan. They are, I bet the oil's about 350 degrees. So they're gonna brown up on each side. The cheese is gonna melt and heat all the ingredients and we're gonna be good to go. And we'll get them on a plate and show you what we've got. And you can just turn these real easily with a fork. So you can see how nice and brown and crispy. Look at those. How fun is this? And let these cool down to room temperature. Your kids are gonna love them. This is a great little breakfast item served with some salsa and a little bit of sour cream if you want and you're good to go. So I'll bring you over. Don't taste this. Fabulous. They're all crispy golden brown and you've got your pico in the center to top it off. And I'm just going to grab my spoon that I dished that up with and give you a taste test. And you want to let these cool uh, close to room temperature. You don't want anybody burning their mouth and these are still pretty hot so I'll grab this one here. Grab yourself one, put a little bit of the pico on there if you want, or eat them without it. Okay, taking a bite. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. You got the cheese and the steak. Mm, so good. And the pico just tops it off. and crispy wontons. Just love wonton wrappers for this kind of thing. It's a little lower in carbs than a tortilla. You're not apt to eat quite as many and you can really count your carbs easier and your calories. So two or three of these is plenty for me for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Wow, yum. <laughs> so guys, mm. I hope it inspires you to come back next time. Check out my uh, video over on my channel for fresh pico de gallo and see how I made this. As well as, I've got another uh, really fun recipe idea for breakfast. Um, 
coming up soon, so stay tuned. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you are, welcome back to my channel. And as always, guys, I appreciate the support so very, very much. And uh, go check the links that I've left for you in the description box. I've got some stuff for you to go check out, see if you're interested, as well as my Facebook page, my mailing address, and um, go sign up for Zacon Fresh because they've got great discounted meats. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe idea.